there are two ways of looking at this. Um, the first is, is there evidence that it matters? Uh, in other words, is it simply naughty uh, behavior uh, of, to which you should take a punitive approach? Well, the evidence is clear-cut that it's associated with a raft of medical problems uh, with a much increased mortality, uh, and so it matters. And therefore, it is properly considered as a disorder. But then the second issue is, OK, but where do you draw the line? Um, and uh, here, I think that the big change in the whole of medicine, actually, not just in psychiatry, is a recognition that many of these concepts, in essence, are dimensional rather than categorical. Uh, so that you don't, as it were, have a watershed between somebody who's emotionally entirely normal and here is somebody with a depressive illness any more than you do between somebody whose behavior is entirely normal and this person has an antisocial personality disorder. The uh, risk factor for which there is the strongest evidence of a major effect would be child abuse and neglect. I mean, that has quite a strong association with later antisocial behavior, plus associations with other forms of psychopathology as well. It's not just antisocial behavior. But uh, there is good evidence that not only is that a risk factor, uh, but that it is an environmentally mediated risk. In other words, it's not just genetics.